Greetings, my geeks, nerds, gamers, and laners. It is I, Mr. G63, and welcome once again to Enticement Gaming. Today, we are going to be having a look at a bit of tutorial lessons for Autonauts. So, without further ado, let us begin. Now, in the beginning, I am going to be showing you what to look out for in a prime map. Now, there is no such thing as the perfect map unless you are looking at custom built maps. Um, I'd like to rather play and experiment with the vanilla version of the game. So, let us begin. Now, this is a sample of the usual map that you will find within the game. Now, as per usual, you will find the colonized free and creative modes here on your left hand side. If you want to know what these do, please go ahead and look at my review for Autonauts. The, uh, the information box linking you to the review will be appearing in the top right hand corner about now. So, what is wrong with this map currently? Well, first, your main land masses, which is this area over here, and this area over here, are broken by this piece of water. So, this is not the ideal real estate that we are looking for. But, never fear, we can randomize the planet seed in order to find a proper map. So, let us have a look. And, what do you know? This seems to be a very good map. So, let's look at the results of our scan. Your main land ores, so your rich, your stone deposits, your clay deposits, your metal ore deposits and your coal deposits seem to be equally balanced. This is something that you are definitely going to look for in a map. You also want a bit of fresh water available. Now, I'm not quite sure. I'm looking here. Ah, there we go. There's some fresh water right over there some more fresh water right over here but the majority of it is seawater this is not too bad as that also means that there's a lot of sand nearby which you will need at a later stage your trees your cereals and your cotton crops that is something that you can generate yourself later on in the game so all that we have to do right now is remove the tutorial and change up the name of our planet. So, we are going to call this Planet Bob. Now, for those who don't know, that is homage to Titan AE, one of my favorite movies. So, let's head on over to Planet Bob. In our first episode, our main thing is going to be to set up our main base in order to start producing resources. So, welcome, I am Otto O. I am here to prepare you for your life as an Autonaut. Oh, hello Otto. Explore, collect resources, craft structures, tools and machines. Automate systems, establish industries, research, and colonize. Fantastic. Let's colonize. So, the first thing that you want to do is just get yourself familiar with the controls of the game. Now, to move your character around, it is as simple as a point and click. So, wherever you point, you left click, and that is where your, your little man will walk around to. In order to pick up resources, you just left click on the resource to drop, you right click. As simple as that. Now, 
to zoom out you can use your scroll mouse down or scroll mouse up to zoom in again plain and simple you can also use the WASD in order to move your camera around so what we are going to quickly do now is do a quick circumference um, patrol just to have a look and see what do we have around us so we've got some trees over there we've got some mushrooms that's good we've got a berry tree berry bush over there oh some more berry bushes we've got some grass and we've got some stone but the stone is pretty far away uh let's have a look okay so i am this is not the best start that i've had oh but we do have fresh water nearby and some clay so i want to be near stone and trees so let's quickly have a look here what's going on here so we've got some stone patch over there but we've also got a stone patch over here Come on, little autonaut. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we've got a nice big stone patch there. We've got a lot of open ground here. And we have got some trees over here. Okay, so I think we can move the middle of our base to about here. Okay, so the first thing that we want to look into is starting to create some tools in order to help us build so for this you can select here in the bottom left hand corner for the structural blueprints alternatively you can hit the e key as you can see boop, there we are we are in the menu to build so you'll find your tabs along the top of this menu so your first one is your workshops so this is if you need to build anything all the tools that you require to build something will appear here your storage containers will appear here and your colonization tools will appear here so let us begin first thing that we are definitely going to need are a few tools so i'm just going to quickly build three of these tables now I need to add the resources. Now, the reason why I am building three of these workbenches currently is that in the beginning, there are three tools that you need in order to build. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to be explaining these tools as soon as I've built the first workbench. And there you have it, a crude workbench ready and waiting. So you left click on the workbench and it will give you the option to build one of the three main tools. So we have got the crude axe. This is used mainly to chop down trees. We've got the crude spade, which you can use to dig holes, flatten earth, remove turf and dig up mushrooms as well as clay. Then the last one is the crude pick. Now, this is used to harvest rock and stone. Uh, so we are going to be looking at the crude axe for now. Because with the crude axe, not only can I chop down trees, but I can also uh, convert logs like this one right over here into planks and into poles. There we go. So, what I want to do now is I want to be able to build a crate right over here in order to store my materials, mainly the, st the axes for now. So, in order to build a crate, I am going to need four planks and four poles. So, we grab our trusty axe and we left click on the log and what do you know, we have now got two planks. But if I was to left click on the plank again, we will have two poles. So, what does that tell you? You chop up a log, 
you will get two planks. If you chop, chop, chop up one plank, you will get two poles. So I'm going to be putting the axe down for now, quickly picking up my poles, adding them by right clicking to the crate. And we are going to go get some more wood. Oh wait, there's a log right over there. Here we go, let's bring our log a little bit closer. Now, this is not actually the most efficient way of moving planks around. What I would normally do is pick up, I will chop up a log into two planks, then go and chop up another log into two planks. And to put, a, to put, your, uh, to put your axe into your backpack, you just click on the axe. Alternatively, you hit Q and they will automatically swap. There we go. So I pick up my two planks there, pick up those two planks there, and jump on top and voila, one crate. So, the next thing that we are going to look into, which is going to be important, and I'm going to want to start this as soon as possible, is, of course, the bot assembly unit. Okay, so for this we are going to need two logs and three planks. Now there aren't a lot of logs nearby, so this is going to take a while, while I quickly hot grab some of these logs that are already chopped. Wait, I think for the last one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop down a tree close by in order to get a log. There we go. Pick up and drop off. Oh, wait, I only needed two. Okay, that's fine. So I'm quickly going to go chop that log right over there. Now, if you ever have a time where you need to try and find out where your character is and you don't want to go scanning around the entire map because later on this game is going to get really complicated. You're going to have a lot of stuff going on all at the same time. The best way to find your character is just to press X. So if I move over here and I press X, X, it immediately moves this camera to center directly on your character. So here we go, our first bot. Now that is all I will be showing you guys for now. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. If you like, you can hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for any further tutorials on Autonauts. So for now, shup shup millipop, stay lacquer and see you on the refresh.